Well, this morning, another chance for your local elected leaders to consider crime solutions. Part of that includes juvenile crime and keeping young people out of trouble. It is such an issue right now. Juvenile crime soared in Memphis over the past 12 months. We have Sydney Hawkins live downtown outside of Memphis City Hall ahead of that discussion. Good morning, Sydney. Ariana, and your juvenile crime continues to be proven to be a ongoing issue here in the Memphis area, hurting businesses, school systems, victims, as well as the teens and children committing those crimes. Uh, later today, again, Memphis City Council members expected to discuss solutions and programs centered around uh, juvenile crime. Now, today's conversation comes just weeks after a 16 year old was transferred transfer it to adult court as he faces robbery and murder charges for the death of a Memphis fruit vendor. Earlier this month, another teen who was also tried as an adult pled guilty to carjacking and murdering a Memphis area pastor in 2022. He now faces nearly 30 years for both of those crimes. Memphis police have also previously reported the majority of criminals breaking into vehicles as well as stealing those vehicles are teens. We've heard several leaders suggest solutions for this ongoing problem. There's also a recent push for some state lawmakers uh, making parents pay at least $1,000 if their child commits a crime more than once. Uh, we are also expected to hear about some programs. Uh, Memphis City Council members uh, are suggesting for juveniles to combat this issue. This is also something Memphis Mayor Paul Young has also suggested, saying uh, the teens and children in this area are hurting for. So we will be at Memphis City Hall later today for that discussion and we'll provide an update both on air and online. For now, I'm reporting live in downtown Memphis, Sydney Hawkins, Action News 5.